Welcome to the WooCommerce import video tutorials of WP Ultimate CSV Importer. In this video, I am going to walk you through the mapping section of WooCommerce products. This is the advanced mapping section where you have to drag and drop the fields to the WP fields. This is the title and content section. This is the post title. Next is the post content. This is for the excerpt field and next is the feature image. Feature image must be a publicly accessible URL. When you click on the preview, you can have the preview of the fields you have mapped here. If you have a publicly accessible URL, the image will be appeared here. Next is the taxonomies, categories and tax section. In the categories, taxonomies and tax section, first map the product type here. Product type is the type of the product you are importing into the WooCommerce. For simple products, the value in the CSV must be 1. For grouped products, the value must be 2. For external or affiliate, it is 3. And for variation products, the value must be 4. You can also import subscription based simple and variable products using WP Ultimate CSV Importer. For the subscription based products, for simple subscription, the value must be 5 and for variable subscription, the value must be 6. Next is the product category field, the product tag and product shipping class. Product category field must be separated using comma separator or a pipe separator. For parent child category, you must have a arrow separator to define the parent and the child. For product tags, you can also import the different tags using a comma separator or a pipe separator. This is the e-commerce meta information tab where you have to map the e-commerce data related to the product. First, you have to map the product type. The SKU of the product and the product URL. Next is the regular price and sale price of the product. Regular price and sale price must be defined by a decimal value. If you are providing a sale price, you can also mention the from and to date from which the regular price is reduced to the sale price. You can have default values for all the products imported. If you select a value from the e-commerce meta information tab, it will be assigned to all the products imported. You can also set from CSV here, where you have to map the field from the CSV and assign it to the product you are importing. For downloadable products, you must also be provided the file name and the file path to the download, download limit and expiry if you have. Next is the download type. For download type, there are three values available, standard product, application or software and music. If you want to set it from the CSV, you have to click on it and select the field and drop it down here. Next is the tax status. For tax status, if you choose taxable, you have to provide the value as 1. For shipping only, you have to provide the value as 2. And for none, you have to provide the value as 3 in the CSV. You can also set it from the CSV here and drag and drop the tax status value. Next is tax class. For tax class, there are three values available standard, reduced rate, and zero rate. For this, also, you have to provide the value as 1, 2, and 3. 1 is for standard, 2 is for reduced rate, and 3 is for the zero rate. You can also set the value from the CSV. Next is the product image gallery. If you have an image gallery, you can provide it here. The URL of the image gallery must also be a publicly accessible URL. This is the inventory tab where the stocks are maintained. You have to provide yes or no for the manage stock section. The stock quantity can be maintained as a numerical value in the CSV file. 
the in stock status must be a in stock or out of stock in the csv next is allow back orders and sold individually allow back orders and sold individually can be maintained as yes or no in the csv file next is the shipping section where weight and dimensions are maintained in the linked products you must provide the ids of the products for upsell and cross sell and also for the grouping product this is the final section of the mapping where the other information like post status date and comments are given for a product you can have the value as published or draft for the post status or you can set it from the csv file post date and time can be maintained in this field comments and trackbacks can be kept as open or closed from here or you can set it from the csv file post slug is the slug of the product and the post author can be maintained here i hope this video helps you to import the simple products of woocommerce easily for more information on help on woocommerce import visit the video tutorials in our website thanks for watching